Hey everyone, Aaron Ritter with Limitless Outdoors. I want to talk to you today about Latitude Outdoors tree saddles. Specifically with my experience, the buckle version or the Method Austria Alpen saddle. So I currently have two other reviews on social media about this particular saddle. However, I'm doing a third because I've been using this saddle extensively for the last three weeks. I'm currently in southern Pennsylvania. I'm wrapping up five days of whitetail and bear hunting here. Um, no success yet with the meat pole, but I've had a very successful hunt. It's been a lot of fun. I've seen a lot of animals. No bear yet, but I've seen a lot of deer. Um, a tremendous amount of turkeys. I've had a lot of fun in the woods. I've had a lot of fun in the saddle. Prior to that, I was on the eastern shore of Maryland for the better part of two weeks chasing Sitka. So again, this is my third video slash review of this particular saddle. And the reason why I'm doing a third is my two previous reviews were first one right out of the box. Second one was just after using it to practice for a couple of times um, in my local area. Now I'm giving you a review after I've spent hours in this thing for the past three weeks. And where to start? So the first thing that I'm going to say is Latitude Outdoors is an incredible company. Um, they are U.S. based and they make all their saddles in-house. Um, secondly, their customer service is top notch. And for the quality of this gear and equipment, um, it's fairly competitively priced. The next thing I like about it is the comfort. So this saddle is, in my opinion, far superior to a single panel saddle. Although Latitude does make a traditional single panel saddle, I have not been in it yet, so I can't tell you how it compares to the other single panel or traditional style saddles. However, this two panel saddle that they've created is incredibly comfortable. It is very lightweight and it is super easy to get in and out of the field. So the first thing that I want you to notice is you have these cross sections in, in the panel. You have, this keeps your panel from bunching up, which is a common problem with other saddles, and it works like a champ. The other thing that um, I really like about the saddle is Again, I talked about how easy it is to get in and out of the field. I don't pack it in my backpack, I wear it. It has Kydex slips, Kydex clips on the top panel. Then they have webbing sewn in on the inside that the Kydex clip clips into. So your two panels hang together up around your waist. When you get to your location, you just pull the, the connection off of those Kydex clips and then your bottom panel drops into place. On the top section, they also have another piece of that similar material, but rather than going vertically, it goes horizontally. So what would be your lumbar support, it keeps that lumbar support from, bent, from bunching up as well. Super comfortable. So let's spin this, this bad boy around. So again, I went with the Buckle or the Austria Alpen. Um, you have two different types or means of connecting the upper and lower portions of this saddle. This piece connects its webbing that connects your bridge. These two other pieces here, it's what I use for my lineman's belt. So you have two separate connections for your tether slash bridge and for your lineman's belt. <clears throat> for, um, for the buckle, it has really nice one inch nylon webbing with the Austria Alpen buckle. I, initially, I went with the buckle guys because I thought that I was gonna utilize a second point of attachment for safety reasons. I've yet to do that. I don't feel that I need to do it, although I have rigged up a secondary tether with a Prusix on it for backup but I'm not using it. However, I do like this strap because when I'm carrying it in and out of the woods and when I'm up in the tree, 
Um, I don't use leg straps and I just, I like the comfort of having this waist strap and I can have it as snug or as loose as I want. So for me, I know there's some, some hardcore ultra light saddle hunters out there and kudos to you guys. I think it's great that you're trying to go as light as you can. Um, I am wanting to stay between the 20 and 25 pound range for all of my loadout when I go into the woods. Um, and that's my target range because that's how much my climber weighed. Um, peak of the winter, I might be a little bit heavier, but I'm not the kind of guy that's looking for a, a 10 to 13 pound saddle setup and or being in the single digits. When I go into the woods to hunt, I carry everything with me. I, I, I stay in the field and I, pers I track and uh, field dress my animal without having to go back to my car. So I'm, I'm looking at, at 23 to 25 pounds right now. This buckle, I know that ounces equals pounds and pounds equals weight and or pain, but I don't mind the buckle and I like the way it feels. So it works out great for me. Then you also have the bridge and it is an adjustable bridge on both sides. So I'll plex bridge. When you order their saddle kit, you will also receive a Ulplex tether and the Ulplex lineman's belt, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. So again, super adjustable, super comfortable. I'm six foot on the money and I fluctuate between 175 and 180 pounds. I have a 32 inch waist athletic build and this saddle is incredibly comfortable. I have spent as little as three to four hours in this saddle at a shot and or up to eight to 12 hours in this saddle. And I've been hunting morning throughout the day or morning and evening hunts and it is incredibly comfortable. And again, getting this saddle in and out of the field is with ease. So I've had it in the thickest of the marsh out on the Eastern shore and I've been hunting it up and down out of these drainages and haulers at, up here in Southern Pennsylvania and it doesn't slide off of my waist or my hips. Um, I haven't had any issues um, with it falling off. It stays in place. You really don't even know that you're, you're wearing a saddle when you walk into the woods. So um, let's move on to Latitude Outdoors dump pouch. So this is a magic trick. Um, they have designed, I think, the best dump pouch on the market. It easily connects into any mole type webbing um, on any saddle, but it's specifically designed for their method. It has a drawstring top, has mesh and bottom sidewalls for good ventilation, and then it also has a very large exterior zippered pocket that will fit a large smartphone. Um, now for the magic trick, what I can fit in this dump pouch is amazing. So first thing that's gonna come out is this is 40 feet of nine millimeter Sterling C4 rappel line with a locking carabiner, a Madrock safeguard, which highly recommend this. If you're a single stick guy, I love this ascender. And then I have a stainless steel quick link and a night eyes wire tie. I have my gear strap that has a medium hero clip and three different night eyes s beaners and i have my lineman's belt now i also have <clears throat> snuck in here because i utilized the different stowage method last night and it worked out perfectly I also have 40 feet of paracord with another carabiner and another night eyes wire tie. I utilize this for my, my bow hoist and also being a single stick guy, when I rappel out of the tree, once my bow's on the ground, I transfer their carabiner to right behind the knot here on my quick link and I use this as a pull assist to get my line down. So as you can see, I can stuff a tremendous amount of gear inside of this one drop pouch. So I'm gonna close with this, guys. Um, 
as far as gear quality, as far as customer service and warranty, and as far as market comparison, if you're new to saddle hunting, or if you've been wearing a single paddle and you're fighting discomfort, hip pinch, or you can't get through an all day sit and it's time to look at a new saddle, you need to go to Latitude Outdoors website, look at their gear, look at their packages, and I highly recommend that you give them a shot. You're not going to be disappointed. So that is my field review after three weeks of extensive use of the Latitude Outdoors Method Austria Alpen Saddle. Again, I'm Aaron Ritter, Limitless Outdoors. Please find that subscribe button here on YouTube. Um, give me a subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. Please like, follow, and share my social media. I hope you're having a great big game season here in 2020, going into 2021. Be safe, be ethical, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Take care.